What's going on guys, it's Jake here, and in this video I'm going to be going over some Red Dead Redemption 2 online hunting tips and a really great overall hunting area. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. So anyways, the area is going to start down here by Quaker's Cove, and it's right next to Blackwater, and you're basically going to have a quick hunting route that's close to a butcher, close to water, and also close to a lot of different game types that add up to be pretty decent. So anyways, I'm going to head down here on Quaker's Cove, and uh, the great part about this area is that it's on water, so there's a ton of different animals, and the first spot you're going to want to head on to is this little island right here. Oftentimes, there could be anything from like pelicans, quails, like random birds, to like even uh, turtles, alligators, animals like that, and then uh, if the, for this video actually there wasn't any but basically along this whole entire cove there's gonna be a ton of different pelicans and different birds like that and birds that are actually pretty easy to kill and worth a lot and these birds tend not to get stuck in the water if they're kind of on the shore right here which is nice as well so through this entire time you're gonna be able to find a ton of different birds especially and also sometimes random animals especially on that island and the great part about this hunting route is that it's right near a city and a butcher and all these animals are relatively easy to kill. And another nice thing about this is obviously you're on the water so you're right next to a lot of fish. And a lot of the times it seems as if the carcass glitch doesn't work anymore but if there is a carcass in the water fish will come near it uh, to an extent not as much as they used to anyways. I think they won't like come out and like um, like uh, put themselves on land anymore but either way there still are some decent spots around here and also a good area uh, down here is this pier uh, there tends to be quite a few birds and random animals around the pier and especially birds on this pier but um, I already like cleared them out I think beforehand so there's not any really in this video right now but if you just set your eagle eye there'll often be a ton of birds all over the buildings and the rail post on this little pier right here so that's definitely a spot to look out for as well and actually this little water spot like in between this pier is actually a good spot for fish I've seen quite a few uh, spawn right where I'm looking right here as well but anyways, if you just simply move down the shoreline, there'll be more and more animals, and sometimes it might be a little bit hit or miss, but honestly, by the time you go up and down the shoreline, more of them tend to respawn. And there's usually some around here, but there weren't, but there were some right here. And this area, it seems like a lot of animals just like drink water over here for some reason, and it's usually medium to large sized animals, so anything from boars to um, white tailed deer, animals like that. And as you can see, there's an entire group of them right here, so these are like very easy kills. I actually do like boars, like they're not great for their pelts or anything, but they are decent for just like selling their animal fats and things like that. So if we head over here to them, um, I'm gonna kill a couple of them here. I'm not gonna steal their pelts or anything like that because they're not honestly worth a lot. And later in the video, I will find animals that are actually worth a bit more for the pelts. But anyways, there usually is definitely uh, some sort of medium to large animal in this spot over here. And if they're not in this spot, they're usually in one of the spots I was at before. But as you can see, as I fast forward right here, I'm going back and down the cove and down the shoreline and there's already more pelicans spawning. So that's super nice as well that I got some of these pelicans and I'm also getting hunting awards while I'm doing this as well. And pelicans and like just kind of more rare exotic birds tend to be the best and sell a lot better than just like crows or ravens or something like that. Crows or ravens don't sell for very much at all. So uh, these birds are definitely worth a lot more. But anyways, I'm just going down the cove here one last time to see if any more animals spawned. And it's weird because on that island, it's almost always animals are spawning on there. I'm surprised I didn't find it anymore. But even on my way back, I find some more birds. I don't think these ones were um, worth as much, but I still found some more. And they're usually not just like random birds like crows or anything like that. They tend to be cranes, pelicans, and other ones like that. Also, if you're enjoying the video, feel free to leave a like. And feel free to share this with one of your Red Dead online buddies or something like that. If you think this video is helpful. Because I really personally like Red Dead um, online. I think they're doing a lot to improve it. I used to not like it at all. And I was kind of mad about some of the hunting updates. But uh, anyways... The next path we're going to be going to is crossing this Great Plains right here because there tends to be a lot of large animals there, especially bison. And bison, you can actually harvest a ton of their parts and you can uh, sell them for pretty decent as well. And right here, I just saw another animal, so I decided to kill him. Uh, this isn't like a typical spawn spot or anything like that. And the pelt was actually poor, so I didn't keep it. But basically, if you go across these plains and keep your distance far enough, right around where I am, right where this like PLA area is, I tend to see uh, a pretty uh, common and pretty uh, 
significant bison spawn because there's often like almost like 10 of them right here and as you'll see as i go up right here so as i go up right here i'm gonna put in my scoped rolling rock rifle i mean there's easily a herd of like 10 of them or so here and i think you only need to kill like four or five to max out everything that you can carry in terms of bison parts but um i hit him in with the head in uh with a rolling rock rifle and that tends to do it uh instant kill three star kill i'm not sure if you can do it with like a regular bolt action rifle or anything like that but either way uh if you find a three star guy definitely take him down and then the other ones i just took down because you can't um take more than one bison pelt on a single horse actually so if you're looking you know to do this with a friend or do it with a wagon or something like that it could definitely be very very profitable because you can kill a ton of bison relatively quickly because one they're just like really big animals and target to hit and two they aren't very fast and they don't really run away like as you can see right here like if this was a deer they would have been out of the frame already like i would not have been able to see them but the bison i actually see relatively easily even though i miss all of these shots but anyways bison are really great large animals to kill and they definitely get you a decent bang for your buck from their meat i think they even sell like their fat their horns like you can get a whole bunch of stuff from bison and you actually hold a lot of it in your inventory unlike certain other animals where you can only hold so much but as you can see i got a perfect bison pelt here i think they go for like five bucks or so and uh, you get the horns the meat and like all that kind of stuff as well but uh, anyways i'm going to harvest these other guys over here and then we're going to make our way over to the butcher and also, like I said in the beginning, if you're new to the channel, I talk about Red Dead Redemption 2 online content, as well as other games and content, things like that. If you're interested in that kind of stuff and you're not yet subscribed, definitely consider subscribing and joining in on the channel. And also let me know in the comment section if this video helped you, or also like if there's other videos that you'd be interested in um, that has to do with like Red Dead online content. I, I like the glitches and exploits, but I also like like the legal ways of doing it through like just simply hunting and finding good hunting spots because playing the single player uh, campaign line in Red Dead Redemption 2, I really, really like the hunting aspect of it. And online kind of hurt hunting a lot by making them a lot less common, but oh well. But anyways, I'm at the butcher here, and as you can see, I have a ton of different parts, a ton of different buys and stuff, a couple fish, and also a ton of bird feathers and gamey meat and bird meat and things like that. So the birds are really a good hit. I always shoot down birds no matter what really they are even sometimes the crappy ravens and crows but definitely definitely pelicans cranes and birds like that but anyways guys that's really it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did definitely consider leaving a like